In the Acropolis Museum in Athens, there's a sculpture, maybe you've seen it, of two Greek goddesses facing each other, their hands clasped. That piece was carved in the 5th century B.C. That's how long human beings have been shaking hands. The handshake is a vital ritual in almost every society and always has been. Yet thanks to the emergence of the Wuhan coronavirus, handshaking must end now. That's the verdict from America's chief pandemic fighter, Dr. Anthony Fauci. I don't think we'd ever should ever shake hands ever again, to be honest with you. Not only would it be good to prevent coronavirus disease, it probably would decrease the incidence of influenza dramatically in this country. Ever again. Killing the handshake is a big step. But again, this is a big moment. It's war. We're told we have to make sacrifices. Yet even in wartime, some accommodations are made. Dr. Fauci recently gave us specifics about what those might be. In an interview with Snapchat, the social media app, he was asked this, quote, if you're swiping on a dating app like Tinder or Bumble or Grindr and you match with someone you think is hot and you're just kind of like, maybe it's fine if this one stranger comes over, what do you say to that person? Now, Fauci is 79, but he didn't even pause or blush. He offered this advice drawn from his decades as a scientist, quote, if you're willing to take a risk and you know everyone has their own tolerance for risks, you can figure out if you want to meet somebody, if you want to go a little bit more into it, <laughs> well, that's your choice regarding a risk, end quote. Got that? Got that? Straight from America's most trusted doctor. Shaking hands with friends must not be allowed. Having sex with strangers you meet online is, quote, your choice. Following the science here? No, you're not because there isn't any. Dr. Fauci is making this up as he goes along. Most of our leaders are. The good ones admit that. They don't pretend to be God. They know they're not God. They have humility. Unfortunately, most of our leaders are nothing like that. They have no humility. They're children playing dress up, demanding we believe they're adults. On one level, it's amusing. The pretense is ludicrous. Nobody's really fooled. But on the other hand, it's scary. These are the people in charge of the country.